Trial by Jury tells the story of a trial for breach of promise of marriage and its happy outcome. The scene is a court of justice. The bench faces the audience and extends along the back of the court, the judge's desk with canopy overhead. On the right is the jury box and on the left the witness box. The opening chorus is sung by barristers, attorneys and jurymen and members of the public. I pray you set aside, I pray you set aside With stern judicial frame of mind From bias free of every kind This trial must be tried Silencing To the plaintiff's case Observe the features of her face The broken-hearted bride Condole with her distress of mind From bias free of every kind This trial must be tried I think Plaintiff shrieks, the ruffianly defendant speaks upon the other side. What he may say, you needn't mind. From bias free of every kind, this trial must be tried. The court of the exchequer. It is. Be firm, be firm, my pecker. Your evil stars in the ascendant. Who are you? I'm the defendant. Oh. Very strange proceedings. For permit me to remark on the merits of my pleadings, you're at present in an I'm well with joy, my riches at her feet I threw, I was a lovesick boy, 
no term seemed too extravagant upon her to employ. I used to mope and sigh and pant, just like a lovesick boy. Tinker tank, 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 I used to mope and sigh and pant, just like a lovesick boy. But joy incessant pulls a sense and love unchanged will cloy, and she became a bore intense unto her lovesick boy. With fitful glimmer burns my flame, and I grew cold and coy. At last, one morning, I became another's lovesick boy. Think it Take a tank, 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 take a a shocking young scamp of a rover. I behaved like a regular cat. But that sort of thing is over. I am now a respectable chap. And shine with a virtuous method. And therefore I haven't a lack of sympathy with the defendant. He's a great cause with all if that is the law. Singing so readily, try the law, try the law. Yeah. 
An appetite fresh and hearty, but I was as many young barristers are an impecunious party. I'd a swallowtail coat of a beautiful blue and a brief which I'd bought of a booby. A couple of shirts of a collar or two and a ring that looked like a ruby. Westminster Hall, I danced a dance like a semi despondent fury, for I thought I never should hit on a chance of addressing a British jury. But I soon got tired of third class journeys and dinners of bread and water. So I fell in love with the rich attorney's elderly, ugly daughter. Attorney, he jumped with joy and replied to my fun professions. You should reap the reward, you flat me boy, at the Bailey and Middlesex sessions. You will soon get used to her look, said he, and a very nice girl you will find. Uh -huh. <laughs> she may very well pass for 43 in the dusk with the light behind her. Attorney was good as his word, the briefs came trooping gaily, and every day my voice was heard of the sessions or ancient bailey. All thieves who could my fees afford relied on my orations. And many a burglar I've restored to his friends and his relations. <laughs> At length I became as rich as the gurneys, and incubus then I thought her. So I threw over that rich attorney's elderly, ugly daughter. But her rich attorney, my character high, tried vainly to despair it. No! Oh. Ah, yes. And now, if you please, I'm ready to try this breach of promise of marriage. And now, if you please, this breach of promise of marriage. Judge. Yes, now I'm a judge. No more my law be fudge, yet I'll never, never budge. But I live and die a judge. It was managed by a job. It was managed by a job. It is plain to the mark that my being made a job was effected by a job. And a Counsel to the plaintiff enters and instructs the court usher to swear in the jury. Swear thou the jury, kneel, jurymen, hold, and kneel. <laughs> Swear by yonder skies, whatever question may arise, twixt rich and poor, twixt low and high, that you will well and truly
is, let her now be brought. Oh, Angelina, come thou into court. Angelina, Angelina. Summoned by the usher, the plaintiff comes into court in her bridal dress, attended by her bridesmaids. <laughs> Since I joined the human race, so I so exquisitely fair a face. Ask thy dog, ask thy dog, how say you? Is she not designed for capture? Well, gentlemen, what do you think? We but one word, my lord, and that is rapture. Counsel for the plaintiff rises to his feet. May it please you, my love. 
Gentlemen of the jury, with a sense of deep emotion, I approach this painful case. For I never had a notion that a man could be so base or deceive a girl confiding vows etc. deriding. She deceive a girl confiding vows etc. Interesting client, victim of a heartless while. See the traitor all defiant, wear a supercilious smile. Sweetly smiled my client on him, coyly wooed and gently won him. Swiftly fled each tunny dark, spent with this unmanly male. Campbell well became a bar, a command Arcadian veil. Breathing concentrated up to an existence a la water. Then my client naming and insisting on the day. Picture him excuses framing, going from her far away. Doubly criminal to do so, for the May had bought her through so. Counsel leads the plaintiff to the witness box. On his return to his place, she reels as though about to faint. Oh. That she is reeling, it's plain to see. If faint your feeling, recline on me. Recline on me. Who oh, fits the water and park alone? For this sex was on a tongue, a tongue, on stocks. They are good in as a judge, and we are the judge on stocks. Jury and the judge make it their business to perish the plaintiff, who staggers to the bench and, sitting by the judge, falls sobbing on his breast. Meanwhile, the defendant rises to plead his cause. <laughs> Gentlemen, listen, I pray, though I own that my heart has been ranging. Of nature the laws I obey, for nature is constantly changing. The moon in her phases is found, the time and the wind and the weather. The months in succession come round and you don't find two Mondays together. 
Consider the moral, I pray. No bring a young fellow to sorrow. Who loves this young lady today and loves that young lady tomorrow? Consider the moral, we pray. No bring a young fellow to sorrow. Who loves this young lady today and loves that young lady tomorrow? You cannot eat breakfast all day, nor is it the act of a sinner. When breakfast is taken away to turn his attention to dinner, and it's not in the range of relief to look upon him as a glutton, who, when he is tired of beef, determines to tackle a mutton. Oh, but this I am willing to say, if it will appease a sorrow, I'll marry this lady today and I'll marry the other tomorrow. As this is willing to say, That seems a reasonable proposition to which I think your client may agree. But I submit blood with all submission to marry to at once is burglary. In the reign of James the Second, it was generally reckoned as a rather serious crime to marry two wives at a time. A nice dilemma we have here that calls for all our wit, for all our wit. And at this stage, it don't appear that we can say. If I to wed a girl, I'm loath. A breach will surely be. And if he goes and marries both, it comes as burglary. A nice dinner. A nice Oh, my God.
plaintiff, determined to obtain maximum damages, now throws herself at the defendant's head in an ecstasy of pretended passion, while he repels her furiously. <laughs> and madly adore My blind adoration is ever increasing My loss I shall ever deplore Oh, you see what a blessing What love and caressing I must and remember and pray When you are addressing A busy assessing The damage is aid we must pay Yes, he, he, he must pay I smoke like a furnace I'm always in liquor A ruption of bullion sort I'm sure I should thrash her, perhaps I should kick her, I am such a very bad lot. I'm not prepossessing as you wouldn't endure me away. Recall my professing when you are assessing the damages Edwin must pay. Yes, he must pay. We would be I should thrash her, perhaps I should kick her. Gentlemen, is one of liquor. You ask for guidance. This is my reply. He says, when tipsy, he would thrash and kick her. Let's make him tipsy, gentlemen, and try. With all respect, I do object. I do. I don't object with all respect, I do object. I do object. I don't object with, with all respect, respect, I do object. I don't object, I don't object. All the legal theory sees you, no proposal seems to please you. I can sit up here all day, I'm a short to get away. Barristers and you attorneys set you on your home journeys. Gentle, simple minded usher. Get you if you like to Russia. Oh. Put your briefs upon the shelf. I will marry you myself. Oh, oh joy unbounded with wealth, so how wronged it the name. Lovely voted on you, he's noted to castle the moat and away they go. I wonder whether they live together in marriage tether, in manner true. It seems to me, sir, of such as she, sir, of judges, he said, and a good judge too. Oh, oh joy and love, if we fell and then he sounded a grief and woe. It seems to me, sir, of such as she, a judge is Caesar and a good judge too. A joy and love, if we will some love, and any sound in a grief and woe. It seems to me, some of such as she, some of the judge is Caesar and a good judge too. Oh, I am a judge and a good judge too. Yes, I am a judge and a good judge too. No home, as you judge, you declare my law is fudge. Get your beauty, I'm a judge and a good judge too. The defendant is a snob. No, no, no. The defendant is a snob. No, no, no. The defendant is a snob. He'll be holding for me. 